In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a brand new microphone by Fine Fine that most of you guys might not even heard of yet. So without further ado, let's get started. What we have here is a USB gaming microphone, fine, fine RGB dynamic mic for PC with headphone jack for streaming, podcasting, Twitch, YouTube, Discord, and it's the K658. I'm going to show you guys what's kind of included in this box and where not is worth the cost for you guys. I'm excited about this RGB. I haven't seen that on a microphone yet. If you are a gamer, this might be actually a really cool new feature for you. And I gotta say you guys, it's nice and a matte feel. It's got the fine, fine logo right there. It feels very premium. So they did a great job on the packaging. Ooh, I like the sound of that already. It comes with a nice manual that you can see right here, just in case you are trying to figure out how to set it up, which is awesome. We have a nice shock mount right here with instructions on what side to actually use. So I'm actually really glad that they included these instructions on which side is up and what side is down. Because if you didn't know in the past, a lot of people actually used this side to plug in their microphone and that was always wrong. So awesome job by Fine Fine by making up that mistake by including the sticker. Then we have a USB-C to USB-A cable, which is awesome. And then we have the microphone itself, which looks super nice. I'm not gonna lie you guys. I'm extremely excited about this microphone because it's got the RGB lights right here here. It also has lights right here for the gain. The gain dial is massive. Look at how big that is. Look at my hand and look at that dial. It is huge. Right now I'm recording this unboxing on the shirt. They almost look like identical in size, look and feel and everything. And this feels premium. So I'm very curious to see kind of how this performs. And then in addition, they also include this tripod right here. One thing I also want to note is it does have this button right here in case you do want to ever turn on the RGB lights are on the back. So just keep that in mind if you do not want those in your video. Now back to the setup. Here is what the RGB lights look like with the shock mount on it. I can try to show you guys a different angle like that. It is super cool. Look at those lights just changing like that. I've never had a microphone that had lights like this. It's just so epic looking. And then if you want to mute it, you just touch it like that and it mutes the microphone. Isn't that insane? I'm just like blown away by this. If you're like a gamer and you're obsessed with RGB lights, this is probably the microphone to actually go with. I mean, you guys let me know in the comments, but I don't know any other microphone that really comes with RGB lights like this on the bottom. Here's my view. Very cool. Just very futuristic feeling and you kind of feel inspired. All right, so a couple different things to note on this microphone. Pretty much USB-C to USB-A cable. It comes with the tripod right here. It comes with the shock mount. It comes with a 3 8 to 5 and a half H adapter. So this ring right here, you would only need that if you are wanting to attach it to like shock mount like this. Otherwise, if you're putting it on just a tripod, you don't need to even use the metal ring, which is nice. And then they do actually have an additional metal ring that you use on the back right there to just lock it in place so that even if I have this upside down, it's not gonna fall out, it's gonna stay right there. And then as we're down here, you will see that we do have a headphone input jack. And then we also have the USB-C input right here to USB-A output to your actual computer, whatever device it may be. Keep in mind, this is a unidirectional microphone. So if I'm talking right on this side, or over here, it's not gonna pick it up. It only picks it up if you're talking straight into the mic front on. And you also wanna keep in mind that you wanna probably stay within four inches away from this microphone. It's not gonna pick up as much audio if you are really far away from it. It's pretty much plug and play. So the second you plug it in, it's already hooked up to your device and then you can set it up in OBS. So I'm gonna actually show you guys how to set this up to OBS and then how to see what the actual microphone sounds like. So without further ado, Let's get to it. Go here to add. Then you're going to go to audio input capture. Don't click on add existing because right now I'm using the Shure MV7 to record this, but we need to add this new microphone that you see right here. So we'll name it fine, fine microphone. And then we'll go here default and right here, the fine, fine 
K658D microphone. All right, simple enough, hit okay. So right now you're gonna probably see on my screen, okay, Tyler, this microphone is not showing up at all in terms of audio, why is that? So what you need to do is just tap on it and now you will have audio coming in from this microphone. All right, so let me now switch over my headphones to this microphone to do a sound test to see how this actually sounds. All right, so I just finished setting up the K658 USB microphone by Fine Fine. I'm just holding it right now because if I was not holding it, you wouldn't really see all the awesome intricacies of this actual microphone. So. As you can hear right now, this is what the actual microphone sounds like. So I would recommend probably getting a boom arm if you do want this to have it be nice and close to your mouth while you're comfortably gaming, podcasting, streaming, or whatever it may be. You can have it on your table with this mic stand as well. Just keep in mind that you're gonna have to be somewhat close to the microphone because it is meant to be kind of four inches away from your mouth. If you don't want those lights to show up anymore, you just hit the button on the back right here all right, and it's just literally, you just tap it. It's so sensitive, it's amazing. And same thing with here, like if you could just get close to this, that's how you can easily mute the microphone. So super easy controls. If you wanna increase the gain, you can do so like so. And you know, this is full max gain, okay? This is what it sounds like fully maxed out. If you wanna lower the gain, you can do so to get really quiet. This is the lowest setting, it'll never go silent. So keep that in mind. All right, so now that we were able to see what this mic looks like all set up, what it sounds like, let's actually compare it to the Shure MV7 to see how this microphone sounds in comparison to the Shure MV7. Right now, this is a sample audio of what the Fine Fine K658 microphone sounds like. All right, so now we are listening to the Shure MV7 microphone. What do you guys think? How does this sound in comparison to the Fine Fine K658 microphone? Are you guys hearing much of a difference? Right now, I can't tell the difference because I would have to play this back in order to hear the difference, but my guess is you might not actually see or hear that much of a difference. If you like RGB colors on the microphone, you like the giant gain, you like the way this goes on, on and off. off like that, for the mute button, that could be a determining factor for you. And also it comes with a tripod stand, it comes with all the accessories. When you buy the Shure MV7, it only comes with the microphone, with the yoke, that's it. If you want the boom arm, you gotta buy that in addition to the actual cost of the microphone. All right, so if you guys are interested in getting this fine, fine K658 USB microphone, I will have a link in the description below. Also, I'll pop up the price right now, boom. This is from Amazon, so right now is charging $120 in order to get this Fine Fine microphone. Mind you, this is a fairly brand new microphone from Fine Fine, so any bugs or issues you had in the past with Fine Fine, they should be resolved with this new microphone because they already included the sticker on which side is up for the actual shock mount, which is huge because I received another microphone maybe a couple months ago and I was confused as to which side to actually install the shock mount into. And thanks to that sticker, I was able to figure that out. All right, so if you guys did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you could subscribe, I would greatly appreciate the support. But without further ado, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I hope to see you guys in future videos. Thanks.